now there's a ca now the camera starts playing after after everything. There's always a mystery here, and it's not a mystery scenes. We're done with that. I already figured out why Christina McIntyre wears his every that that dress every single time in Vagabond Loafers, Who Done It, and also his bleeding his baiting beauty by Harry Von Zell. No, I want to know the mystery is why are we still why can't we find a cure for coronavirus? That's one question I can't understand here. Now I have to think this through and I got eight minutes on this phone to do so. So, we all know what coronavirus is. It's a disease that's similar to the, f uh, the fever and the flu. It has almost similar symptoms except it's contagious and it causes death to the elders and the chronically ill. And for me, even though I've dealt with multiple diseases in my lifetime, and that's just me alone, I've never dealt with a disease that has killed 100,000 people. I, I, heard the, I heard the World War I like, bird flu pandemic killed lots of men. So, I don't even know what to say. And the, there's, only, there's, there's a couple of things that pisses me off. First off, I don't know why the Chinese government doesn't have an FDA, so at least their markets don't have to keep selling bats and dogs, because you don't know uh, rats too. Because nobody knows what's in those, but we Americans do. So you guys don't even have an FDA, which guys need, and that's easier said than done than, ju than just giving us cheap items like Christmas wrapping paper. Secondly, Donald Trump is such the laziest president that I've ever seen that even he can't even stop a pandemic. Let alone trying to keep America great again when really he's not doing a good job of it. So screw him, I'm picking one of the Democrats that are going to win this year. But also there comes the third. Is like containing the, this ailment. Haven't we done this before? No, actually, the third one is, why isn't there a cure yet? Not only that, for the CDC, why do we have to stay in our houses until August? I think people are not going to stand the curfews and stand the emptiness and the loneliness and the fear of this disease that is spreading all across the world. Not only is it driving a lot of people crazy, but, I mean, come on. I can't even watch, like, sports entertainment shows like WWE. I can't even watch Raw, SmackDown, or NXT that is in one day not in the Performance Center, doesn't have 500 people sitting in one row, has WrestleMania being in the Performance Center, kicking off the Hall of Fame and the NXT TakeOver in Tampa, and also showing rematches from former matches, like the Royal Rumble and the Elimination Chamber, because guess what? All of us, well, except for me, because I don't have the network, have already fucking seen it. So, what are we doing with our lives? CDC, I can tell you one thing, and that's one thing I can tell you only here, and take this as a passion, don't take this personally. Take this professionally. Step the fuck up. You have millions of lives counting on you right now to get this cure once and for all. If anybody could take my advice for this, I think the United States should get their ass down to the red zone where the coronavirus started. At least look at these food markets. At least go to these, like, what people would call as this Chinese government testing lab that I've heard of. I don't know if to believe it or not to believe it, but right now I'm sticking between the middle here. Get in that damn ass lab. If they say, no, you're not allowed in, we'll force ourselves in. Because we need to know what's going on here so at least we can stop this. I don't know what to begin with. I just can't wait to get this thing over and done with. If this thing takes a year... I would be I think people will go out of their minds and say that this was the worst type of like pandemic that they have ever seen. I mean, I can't even rest a day until I've seen Facebook, YouTube, Google, 
And every time I hear this, it's this coronavirus here. This guy tests positive for coronavirus. The reason why we took this out on Disney Plus because of coronavirus here. Like, enough with the coronavirus. You're giving people more stress. I know that you people have to do your jobs, but seriously, you're causing all of us way too much stress already as people. I'm not, I'm not a science guy. I'm not the CDC. I'm, hell, I'm not even the FDA. What I do know as a person, not a professional, but a person, is that a person should at least have their lives back. Right now, they're being taken away by this disease. And I'm not getting anyone, no one near me. I'm already trying to set up a cardboard little door, so at least I can close it behind me. I'm going to be putting it right here. That would be the doorway. This was the old door, which was cheaply made. I'm going to be making this door as a gate and locking myself in. I don't want anybody going near me. So at least I have my food and supplies right here where I need them. Even though the rest of them are right there. At least I still have these two cases of water right here. But I have to say this again. Step the fuck Excuse me, buddy. I think it's <sighs> Sorry. I actually thought it was the, uh, the government trying to kick my ass. But funny thing is, is that I never had that problem. So be lucky for that. I've heard many different rumors. I've heard many different things that people just don't believe in. But I'm trying to keep those into the back of my mind. And I think that's what everybody else should. The point I'm trying to say is CDC needs to step the fuck up so we can get this cure out. And these Democrats need to work their asses off to get as many votes as possible so that one of them can at least go to the goddamn debate and kick Trump off the office. Not only that, we need to stay calm. I'm trying to stay calm, but as you can see, I'm not. The one thing I'm trying to say to you people is that Dom's Vlogs is under quarantine. And not their quarantine, my quarantine. I'm going to make sure that I don't get cursed by this goddamn virus, this goddamn plague. And you people should too. It may be difficult, but we got to do it. We got to do what we can to survive. And that's what I'm doing. And I don't blame you all. We will survive.